Hi there, I'm Patrick McKinnon, coach and runner of the Dundas Valley Track Club here in Hamilton. Uh, this year is the 125th anniversary of the Around the Bay Road Race, and uh, this will actually be my sixth time personally running it. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you a bit of a course preview and showing you some interesting spots and some challenging parts of the track. After the start at York and Bay, you're going to head towards James Street, where you'll take a hard left and head towards north towards the harbour. Enjoy the crowds while you can because it thins out considerably once you get onto Burlington Street. The course changes in 2014 meant what was once a fast first 10k has been replaced by a more industrial landscape. You've got hills at 5k and 7k in the form of overpasses. You finish the first third of the race and on the Beach Boulevard, you're essentially running in a straight line for 8 kilometers. This can be a tough stretch mentally and is often windy, a theme for the entire race. Focus on staying relaxed and preparing yourself mentally for the hills. With the view of the sky well on your left, you're approaching the halfway mark of the race. As you go through 15K, keep in mind that it's a lot more windy out here. You are exposed being close to the bay and you've still got to focus mentally because you're not reaching the hills yet on North Shore. The infamous North Shore Boulevard stretch of the course starts at 18K and continues through about 24K. You have hills at Burlington Golf and Country Club, LaSalle Park before and after, and also back up to Plains Road as you continue on through the rest of the course. It's very tough, but also arguably the most beautiful part of the course, and many, including myself, look forward to it. Roughly 26k into the race, you reach the infamous Valley Road in Hill. As you head towards the train tunnel, bide your time, because once you reach it, you still have about 200 meters to go. The hill is about 400 meters total. But once you reach the top, you're on to York Boulevard with only three and a half clay left in the race. With roughly 2K to go, you'll pass the Hamilton Cemetery and encounter the Grim Reaper. As tempting as it may be to stay with him, if you can keep moving forward and head towards the first Ontario Center, the finish is in sight. I hope you enjoyed our course preview. Good luck with the rest of your training, and I hope to see you at the end of March for the 125th edition of the Around the Bay Road Race.